What's up, YouTube? Demi here. I'm gonna explain why this implicit corruption here is so valuable, or is it? Got a lot of questions about this video. The plus one max resumes, they don't really understand why that's so strong. Um, so I'm gonna try to explain that real quick. Basically, we'll pull up a notepad document. So your normal average character has 75% resistance maximum to fire, cold, and lightning, and chaos, correct? means that you take 25% of the incoming damage. So say you get hit for, let's just throw 100 damage, you get hit for 25. Easy number conversions, right? So if you take 1% max res and you upgrade all of these up to 76%, it means suddenly that 100 damage becomes 24 damage, right? Now you're like, okay, Demi, but that's just, that's just one less damage. That's not that good, right? but you're taking one out of 25 less damage. So that is one divided by 25, which is 4% less damage taken. And that is the equivalent of say an, an endurance charge worth of physical mitigation, but it's for elemental damage. The, um, or actually it's just for everything that's not physical. The maximum resistances actually includes chaos res as well. So if you manage to cap your chaos res with a 1% max res chest, um, you get 76% all res, which means you take 4% less cold lightning fire and chaos damage. Which is incredibly valuable at endgame. This actually gets stronger the higher maximum resistance you get. So say I were to get um, Barbarism, it's a note on the tree that gives you 1% max fire res, right? So this number would actually become 77%, which means I only take 23 damage versus the 25 normal damage. So that would actually be 2 divided by 25, which is... Wait, I can't, sorry, I can't do that. I'm not do that. You can't do that, you can't add it that way. So, the first 1% max res puts you to 4% less damage taken, and then you have, um, 23, 20, fuck, hang on, I gotta think how to do, word this correctly in a way that makes sense. So, 1% max res puts you to 24 damage taken, another 1% on top of that takes it to 23 damage taken. If you compare 23 to 24, it's 1 divided by... 24 less damage taken. Which means you now you take 4.16%, 166% less damage taken. So that, like, it gets stronger as the closer you get to 100%. So the next percent after that would take us to 1 divided by 23 less damage taken. So then the next 1% max res becomes. 4.35-ish percent less damage taken. So as you can see, like the closer and the higher maximum resistance you go, the each like the the higher value each additional one percent max res gives you. So if you can manage to get up to 99 percent maximum resistance, which is possible with like Pathfinder Flask Effect nodes, level 21 purities with Empower Four and a plus one gems a pair of gloves or something like that. You can achieve 99% elemental resistances for a short amount of time, possibly even 100% resistances if you have certain other things on your gear. So that would make you immune to elemental damage, which is just, just what the fuck, shit, it's so good. But yeah, I hope this helps everybody understand why that is such a valuable implicit. This is actually the only astral plate on PV trade that's even close to that. Let's see if I can find anything similar. So we want a six link astral. Not even we just want an armor chest. Let's go for a thousand armor. Maximum resistance. We have to go for the uh, implicit max resistance one. Go. None online. Alright, let's check offline. There's a brass dome, one percent max res, that's incredibly good. And then we get to the really expensive shit. These are all uniques though, here's the thing. Nobody really wants to wear Brass Dome in PvE because it doesn't give you life. There are some people that want to use it for the uh, immunity to crit damage, right? So your options are, this is standard, right? You have two Brass Domes, 35, probably not playing standard four months ago, and he's on Breach League. He's not going to respond. This guy, two weeks ago, definitely plays standard. That's probably about the right price. And this guy is seven months ago, probably also doesn't respond to PMs. And it's 100x, 120x. This is mine. For 200x. Which I think is a little high. I don't know why it says four months ago. We evolved this like three days ago. I'll try to get that to update. 
but that's why they're so valuable that's why this is so valuable it's at least 100x i'm probably going to move it down to 150 because it's a unique or it's not a unique chest and it has life dual res really good dual res actually um but yeah let's see if we can find any in reach none in reach what about hardcore reach none in hardcore reach what about actual hardcore hardcore None in hardcore, hardcore. Alright, so there are four 1% max res chests with over 1k armor. Total. In the entire game. Hope you guys understand a little bit more why I kind of shat my pants off that max res thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and that is the meow.